In this video, I'll be walking you through how to create Spot the Difference books. Now, these are massively popular on Amazon and really fun to create. And through the use of AI tools, these have never been easier to make. So make sure you watch this full video till the end. So research is always the first step of the process. Before you create anything, you need to check there's demand on Amazon. So I always start off by just typing in the keyword into the Amazon search bar, and then you can see how many results show up. In this case, we've got 10,000 for spot the difference. And for me, that's just too many results to compete with. So what I like to do is to niche down further by using the Amazon search bar. So this is Amazon's way of telling you what, what customers are searching for. So we can just click on any of these keywords in order to niche down even more and in most cases you'll find a lower amount of results another thing you can do is actually type in a letter of the alphabet after your keyword and then amazon will show you more related keywords so i like to just go through different letters of the alphabet in order to see what i can find and it's another great way of just lowering the amount of results so at least you're competing with less books now we can just take a scroll through of the first page and what we want to focus on is some of the BSRs using DS Amazon Quick View. And this will highlight to us the demand of each specific book under the keyword we're searching for. And we are seeing some books with BSRs under 100,000, which means they are really selling well. This one on the far left, for example, was actually only released March earlier this year. So that's something I like to see as well, that recent books are selling well. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see two more books to the left that has been released in June and February. And these spot the different books are selling well too. Another thing we have to highlight with these types of books is that if you are using colored images, you will need to use a lot less pages due to printing costs, which will eat into your profit with these books if you have too many pages. So I'd limit it to 40 or 41 pages at max if you are going to price your book around $9.99 or $10.99, which is kind of the average for these books. So the next thing we want to think about is that what is included in these types of books. So we can see we've got two images and in the second image we've got some parts missing. So you basically have to spot the difference between the two images and then just circle what you find. So it is quite a simple and fun concept. I like how this book has used an example page so people know what to do. And then throughout the rest of the book they've got a lot of fun and interesting images for kids to enjoy. Now, if you go down this route, this is what I mentioned about the printing cost. So you can see for a premium interior with a 40 page count that the printing cost is $4.20, which does definitely eat into your profits. But with these books, you can charge a lot higher. So with a book priced $9.99, the royalty you earn is $1.79. So make sure you stick around 40 to 41 pages, but you can also increase the price of your book to maybe $10.99 or $11.99. To earn a higher royalty another option is you can actually create black and white images instead of colored images as these will bring your printing costs right down so once we've done our research the next stage is cover and interior creation and we're going to be using mid journey for this now i do have several mid journey tutorial videos so i'm not going to go over the basics here but just make sure that you are on a paid plan in order to have commercial license to sell but you can see for these images that have been made i have focused on an under the sea theme and again, I haven't overcomplicated the prompt. We've got sea animals swimming in the sea, cartoon for kids, happy, and the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And this is what makes the images quite wide. And this is what we've seen with the other Spot the Difference books. And that's why research is so important. Then we can start to create more of our images. So I'd say you'll need at least 30 to 32, as you will need some pages for the solutions at the back of your book. And once you are happy with any specific image, just make sure that you upscale it in mid journey. And the great thing about when you have a specific theme, you can just interchange some of the words in your prompt. So instead of sea animals, I've put octopus here. Then instead of octopus, I've put dolphin. So you can just change around with different sea animals. And you can take a look at some of my upscaled images here. They all look pretty similar and they go together quite well. And I think it's something that my target audience would really enjoy. Again, another option is if you don't want to do those colored images is that you can do black and white. And with this, the only change to the prompt was I added the words coloring page and then I also added clean line art. And this still produced some really good results. So you can even interchange the word sea animals to a specific animal to come up with different results. Finally, in terms of the cover, I just changed the aspect ratio of the prompt. Then I reran the prompt again and chose a cover that I thought would look quite good and then just upscaled that cover. And once all your designs have been upscaled, all you need to do is download them and then go to bigjpg.com to 
further upscale the images and improve the resolution. Unfortunately, this is a paid tool if you want to do more than five images per week, but their plans are more than affordable. And then all you need to do is upscale your images four times. The next step I've been including in my videos is this website called Tinai, a reverse image search engine. And I've been using this for my AI images or anything I download from Creative Fabrica just to make sure that any image that I want to use in my book is safe to use and it's not being stolen from anywhere else. So in this instance, I uploaded one of the sea animals images and you can see that it's come up with zero matches. So I know this image is safe to use. Now that we've got all the images for our interior pages, we need to get the dimensions for our cover and interior from KDP cover calculator. So in the left hand side, you can see all the information that I've put in there with the page count of 40 pages. Then you just click calculate dimensions and then it gives us the dimensions that we need for the full cover and also the interior pages. So we can just copy and paste that into Canva. And in Canva, we can click on create a design and we're gonna need two different pages. So one for the cover and one for the interior pages. So this is the first page and we're going to use it for our cover and then this is the second page and this is just going to be for our interiors. So for this first page I've got the title and subtitle and then just an image used in the book and then I've got my publisher name. And this is followed by an example page and all the images used in this are from Mid Journey and all that I've done is just copied and pasted the same image. Then the first image at the top I've kept the same whilst the second image I've used the magic eraser to get rid of certain parts and then I've used the circle to show the parts that are missing. So this is quite easy to do and I'll walk you through that. So starting off with this page here, I've titled it fun under the sea, hashtag one. And then I've got circle three differences and you can choose the amount of differences you want. I've got my mid journey image and I've just copied and pasted that underneath. Then to start editing the image with the magic eraser tool, you can just click on it. You will need the Canva Pro subscription in order to access this tool but I do know Canva do 30 or 45 day trials that you can sign up to. So once you've clicked on the image just go over to edit photo and then you'll see the magic eraser right there in the middle and before you start to erase parts of the image you will just want to adjust the brush size so you can see the more you increase it the bigger it gets and the more you decrease it the smaller it gets but I usually leave it on around 20. Then it's just a case of choosing the parts and pressing down and highlighting over any part that you would like to get rid of. So I've highlighted this fish as my first spot the difference. So just make sure that you highlight over every area. Sometimes it might not do it perfectly. So just go over the area again. But this tool is highly intelligent and it doesn't affect the background at all. It just gets rid of the exact area that you want. Then all you need to do is just select another area, make sure you highlight everything you want to get rid of and let Magic Eraser do its magic. And then finally, just choose the last part, which I've done as the tongue. It didn't do it perfectly, so you can just zoom in and maybe decrease the brush size to get over the specific area that you want. And once you're happy with the final outcome, just click the back arrow next to the magic eraser and it will take you back to the full page before and then you can compare both images and see if you're happy with everything. Now I really like how that's turned out and you can clearly see all the missing parts, including the part at the top of the dolphin, the tongue and then also the other fish as well. Then it's just about rinse and repeating the same process with the rest of the images. So let me know if you can spot the three differences with image number two and as well with image number three, if you can spot all three differences. Now, once you've done all your images, just make sure that you leave a few pages for the solutions. And this is how I'd structure your solutions pages. And then you can just use these circles to highlight the differences. So once all the interior pages have been done, then you can start creating your cover. And here's just an example of one that I did earlier. So you've got the title and the subtitle and then I've used the image from Mid Journey and then for the back cover I've just flipped it over whilst using images from the interior on the back cover and then I've just written 30 plus activities for kids. Then in order to download the cover you just click share and then download and make sure you select the right page or pages if you're doing the interior and click done. Then you want to make sure that it's a PDF print file and then make sure that it's CMYK which is best for professional printing and click download. Then the final part is just uploading your Spot the Difference book to Amazon KDP and I've got this video on my channel that walks you through the whole process in less than 10 minutes using just free tools. 
So thanks for watching another video and if you've got any questions then just leave them in the comments section.